Hi, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. As you can see, we are going to solve this logical circuit and we will find the output Y. Okay, so we will solve this uh, circuit step by step. And for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy if you have not subscribed it so that you will get the notification of the videos as soon as I release such videos. So let's start. For solving this circuit in a more organized way, let me write the outputs. Let me name these outputs. Like uh, let's say here it is x1. Let's name its output as x1. Its output as x2. And this output as x3. And its output as x4. Here is x5. And uh, the last output is y. So that I can... Uh, use it for reference okay so first of all let's write the values of x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 then we will uh, find the value of y so what is x1 here x1 is here you see two inputs this is the nand gate nand means not this is not and this is and so it is nand gate nand gate nand gate this is or gate here again two nand gates and this is the or gate so output of this is x1 which is equal to a nand b and x2 is what x2 is b nand c so how to solve it what is x1 here and what is x2 x1 is you see a nand b okay a nand b nand means and then not operation and what is x2 x2 is look at this this is b first input is b and the second is c so b nand c so it is b nand c nand means we will end these two and will complement it find it's not not and is nand okay now we will calculate x3 x4 and x5 so what is x3 x3 is just the x1 plus x2 it is the or operation of the two inputs x1 and x2 we know so just or these x1 and x2 so x3 is x3 is equals to x1 plus x2 this is the or operation so what is this what is x1 x1 is a into b bar and x2 is b into c bar okay now we know the x3 and what is x4 and x5 look at this what is x4 you see here x4 is having this is a and this a input is going into both of the inputs of this nand gate so here it is a and another input is also a so a nand a okay a nand a x4 is a nand a nand means not and a and a and its complement and we know that uh, a into a is what is a and its complement a bar okay so x4 is a bar and in the same way what is x5 x5 is simply the c into c bar okay nand of c so it is c into c bar which becomes c and c into c is c and its bar uh, some of you might not be getting how i have written a into a as a as you know suppose uh, how to write it a into a is what suppose the value of a is 1 so 1 into 1 would be 1 okay and if suppose since we know that value of a can either be 1 or can be 0 it is a binary input so if it is 1 then it would be 1 into 1 and we know 1 into 1 would be 1 and if another value is there for a that is 0 so a into a means 0 into 0 would be 0 so you see here that value of a is 1 then its output is 1 and if value of a is 0 then its output is 0 so it means a into a is a okay it is its value is same as the value of its input so in this way i have values x1 x2 x3 x4 and 
x5 you just uh, keep it in, in mind also that uh, if you see this then it is a simple not gate okay nand having same uh, inputs both of its inputs as then it is a not operation complement so it is a bar and it is c bar okay now i want to find the y so y would be it is or gate it, it would be x4 plus x3 plus x5 that is x3 x4 plus x5 the summation of these three simple or operation so x3 x4 x5 is the y so our output y is equals to x3 plus x4 plus x5 so what is x3 here x3 is a into b bar plus b into c bar plus what is x4 x4 is a bar and what is x5 x5 is c bar okay now we just need to solve this we can write this a into b bar as a bar plus b bar how we can write it because if there is a complement then we complement each term it means the complement of a this complement is over a into b complete term so it becomes complement of each term including the sign it means a bar a's complement is a bar b's complement is b bar and it is also on the this dot that is so it's this end operation will convert into or operations a bar plus b bar in the same way becomes b bar plus c bar complement each term including the sign including this dot or plus whatever uh, in this so the complement of this end operation is or so so it becomes b bar plus c bar and here we have a bar plus c bar as it is okay now you see here write the similar terms together like uh, a bar plus a bar these two a bars i have two a bars and two b bars b bar plus b bar simple and two c bar c bar plus c bar i have just written them together now this expression converts to a bar plus a bar is a bar b bar plus b bar is b bar and c bar plus c bar is c bar it means that if we have two inputs which are same and we or them the output would be this same let me show you how suppose here i want to solve this what is a bar in a bar plus a bar as we know the value of a can either be 0 or 1 so let's take a value of a as 0 first so 0's bar will be 1 plus bar of 0 will be 1 so 1 plus 1 is 1 so you see it is same as these two okay if the value of uh, a is 1 let's take value of a as 1 put in this equation so 1 bar is 0 plus 1 bar is 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 this is the OR operation so you see here that uh, if the value of a is uh, 0 then I am getting this as 1 and if the value of a is 1 then I'm getting the output as 0 so it is always a bar plus a bar is equals to complement of this that is a bar okay you can also think of it as if two inputs are same and they are odd then output would be the same as this input so it is a bar and this becomes b bar and this becomes c bar you can just put the values and check yourself okay now a bar plus b bar plus c bar can be written as a into b into c whole bar because i have told you that if there is a complement then it is complemented for each term so it becomes a bar plus b bar in the same way if you think it in reverse then it becomes a bar plus b bar plus c bar so same as this so we can also write it in this way also a bar plus b bar plus c bar can be written as a into b into c we just complemented each term and applied the bar that is a complement so complement of complement becomes the same okay no effect they cancels out 
So this is the answer. The, this is the value of y. It is a bar a into b into c bar. I hope you understood the concept. We have obtained the value of y step by step by finding various values of x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and then y. So for more such videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy and please like and share the video if you liked it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye bye.